Hey guys, I'm Brad of Brave the Woods. Today we're gonna to be making another style exploration video. These are by far my favorite types of videos to make, so hopefully you enjoy watching me get out of my comfort zone and try something new. This time I'll be working in the classic rubber hose animation style, thanks to the recommendation of a friend of mine. And if you're saying, I don't know what this style is, I've never heard of it, you've definitely seen it before. It's that, it's from the 1920s and 30s is when it started. It was the black and white, generally accompanied by music. Uh, if it's still not ringing a bell, Popeye. Uh, Felix the Cat, I believe, was the first one. You have Disney Steamboat Willie, uh, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, all those kinds. The name Rubber Hose actually came from the rubbery, noodly way that the characters were animated, so it avoided having to deal with like articulating joints, so it was kind of an easier process for these illustrators that started doing comic book strips, and they were able to take these characters into doing animated pieces. All right, so enough about the history. Let's jump straight into this. I'm a little nervous because not only is it a completely foreign style to me, I really don't do very cartoony type things, uh, but also this is black and white. So it's gonna be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. So let's get started. All right, let's jump right into this. I did my research and I got a feel for how characters were drawn back then in this style. I didn't want to mooch too much off of one cartoon in particular, so this caveman character I came up with is hopefully gonna feel just like he's right out of a 20s cartoon. So he's got the noodly limbs and exaggerated movements. But to really make this feel nostalgic, I want to put him in some sort of funny predicament. <laughs> like he's trying to sneak up and club a dinosaur, but the dinosaur turns around and is super angry at him. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just needed to get a good sketch started. So that's where I'm at right now, which I'm gonna continue doing here on the iPad Pro and Procreate. Now that I'm happy with this sketch, I need to pick out a good inker because that's really the most important part of this style is making sure that line work is really, really nice. Now, with the pins that they use, the physical pins that they use, they had a nice taper going in the style and they have a little, you know, some thicks and thins. So I want to mimic that in this and keep it nice and tidy, which um, a lot of times I like to be with like a big brush and throw lots of colors and textures in. So this is going to have to show a little bit of restraint here <laughs> and uh, really make some clean lines. So I'm going to take my time, ink this out. You can watch it. I'll speed it up here for you. And then uh, we can we can jump in after this, and I'll stop along the way. Boy, I'll tell you, hands and feet are the hardest thing to draw. I think they're the hardest thing to draw anytime, uh, but especially in a style that you're not used to. I mean, they're supposed to probably be easier because of you're only doing four fingers, they're nice and bubbly, but uh, still, it's so different for me to do. So it takes me a little while to figure that part out. And on the dinosaur, I couldn't quite figure out how to get his legs to look right or feel like it's in that style. I mean, they could look like dinosaur legs, but I didn't know how to make them look like they were fit in that world that uh, rubber hose world. So uh, I actually looked at some examples of how some animals were drawn and animated in movies or cartoons, I should say. And uh, I kind of looked at elephants for the legs and actually for the neck, I looked at some camels. <laughs> All right, now that we've got this thing inked up, all we have to do is drop in our color, which is the fun part. So we'll add another layer right underneath this, and we'll have to remember that the color underneath, well, we are doing gray values, but also it's gonna be a flat color, no shading or anything like that underneath the characters. Anything that's moving, just, just so it feels like one of the old cartoons, because when they animated these things, 
you'd have to draw them frame by frame by frame. So if you wanted to keep drawing that thing over and over again and having shading on every time or textures or whatever, all these other details, it would get crazy hard and take forever. And it'd be hard to match those up. So they just do flat fields of color underneath the characters or anything that's going to animate in the, in the show. And then the background could be as crazy, complex, painterly, beautiful scene as you want because it's not going to move. So that's what I'm going to try to mimic here. But first, let me just drop in the color behind my characters. The hard part is out of the way. We got the dinosaur and the caveman inked and painted in, but now they just live in this blah gray world that we need to we need to fix. So let's add an awesome backdrop. I want to add a rich prehistoric little scene for them to live in. And that's really what I loved about those old cartoons was the the amount of the level of talent that went into just creating those backdrops. They were incredible. If you really go back and look at them, they're just really well done and um, you know, so I want to, I'm not saying I can mimic that, but, uh, I'll try my best to give you that contrast of the, the rich, you know, painted background with some depth. And then you have these flat characters on top that would be animated. So let me try my hand at that. <laughs> shoot I'm pretty happy with how that turned out the background feels very prehistoric and they feel like the characters feel like they're sitting in the environment not just on top of it which is kind of cool that's how I put those that's why I put the ferns and the other plants in the somewhat foreground they're still in the background technically but uh, I'm going to do a little Gaussian blur on the background too so I'm going to put these all in one layer add a blur to it just so it's a little bit less focused and the characters really pop out and then uh, maybe I'll add a vignette around the whole thing to make it feel kind of old timey. These are just little bonus things that <laughs> aren't necessary, but uh, will be kind of fun to do. So I'm going to do that. Maybe add some dust speckles and stuff like that on top of it to make it really feel nostalgic. And uh, we should be all done. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm finished. Admittedly, I, I was a little nervous to get into this, uh, mainly because of, <laughs> and it's gonna sound funny, but like the, the character's hands and feet, I'm just not used to doing cartoony figures, especially with like so much emphasis on the line work. Uh, I usually work the opposite way. I usually work with building big shapes and then adding in details later. And this one is getting all the details figured out with the line work and then just having fun filling it in with colors or values, and so, that was kind of a neat uh, revelation. I really enjoyed that process of just uh, getting the hard part out of the way at the beginning and then getting easier as I go through it. That made it a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm not, the, the background was probably the easiest part for me because that felt the most familiar doing that painterly part. But uh, because I was so nervous, I actually chose dinosaurs as the theme because I'm like, at least if nothing else goes right, I get to draw a dinosaur because I love drawing dinosaurs. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a whole lot of fun. Like I said, I love doing these style exploration videos. So if you guys have any ideas of your own for styles that you want to see me tackle, drop those in the comments below. And who knows, maybe yours will be in uh, a future video. But uh, stick around for future videos on that note. Uh, if you're subscribed already, thank you so much. For those of you who are new here, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please shoot it, give it a like. And uh, we will see you next time. <laughs>